This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what is the proper way to export a texture map when using Geometry HD for poly painting? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a simple cube object here loaded in. This cube has UVs already established with it, so it has UV mapping. And I've divided it up a few times here, so I'm at 1.2 million polygons for this object. So the question is asking about using HD geometry and poly painting inside of ZBrush and how to take that HD poly painting and generate it to a texture map. So to start off first, I'm just gonna show why you would want to use HD geometry and then show the process to export that out. So the first thing I have here is my cube here, and then I have loaded in a 2K map of some fungus. So the dimensions on this is 2048 by 2048. Now I'm gonna take this map here and I wanna apply this as poly painting to the surface of my mesh. So I'm gonna have this standard brush selected here. I'm gonna change my stroke to drag rectangle. At the top, I'm gonna to turn on RGB. I'm gonna turn off Z add. And then I'm gonna adjust my focal shift down to negative 100. And then finally, I'm gonna to go to the stroke palette up here. I'm gonna to go to the lazy mouse area and I'm gonna turn off lazy mouse. So now I just have set up this standard brush to be able to drag out the texture map that's associated here onto the surface of my model and apply that to the mesh as poly painting. So I'm just gonna to come to the corner here and I'm just gonna click and drag to apply this. And this is gonna come out like so. And now I'm just gonna zoom into that area where I've applied this texturing. Now, as I get closer to the mesh here, you're gonna see that I'm getting some pixelization. And this pixelization is happening because my model at this point is only 1.2 million polygons. And at the size that I drew this map out on the model, the mesh in this area didn't have enough polygons to fully support that 2K texture map. So at this point, if you want to capture the full resolution of your texture map onto the surface of your model, you'd need to divide up your model some more to give you more polygons in this area that are going to be able to support that texture map. So I'm just going to zoom out here, and instead of dividing this model up, I'm going to activate Geometry HD. Now, Geometry HD lives in the tool palette over here, and it just has its own palette here. And this is going to allow you to divide your model up even higher than your machine will normally allow standard subdivision. So if I come over here and click this Geometry HD, you can see it up the top here that it's going to start increasing my polygon. So right now, I'm at 5 million. If I divide again, I'm going to be at 20 million. And if I even divide one more time, I'm now going to be at 81 million polygons. Now, this Geometry HD is going to allow you to sculpt in high definition on your surface of your mesh. But to do this, you have to activate this Sculpt HD. So right now, I'm still getting the model here viewed at that 1.2 million polygons. But if I come across the surface here and say I want to draw out another one of these in this area, if I hit the A button on my keyboard, this is now going to activate that Geometry HD, and it's going to isolate an area of my mesh and put it in HD mode. So as you can see, after I activated by hitting A on my keyboard, I now have this circular radius that's appearing on my mesh. And anything that's inside of this radius is now in HD mode. So right now, this area of my model here is 40 million polygons. So now if I do the same process by going to the standard brush, keeping that drag rectangle on and using my texture map here and dragging this out, you're gonna get a result like this. So if I zoom in onto this version of the mesh here, you're gonna notice that this is a lot cleaner than that previous one I dragged out. And this is because I'm applying this in Geometry HD mode and it's applying the texture map here to 40 million polygons. So there's plenty of geometry to support the entire detail in that texture map. Now after you have this applied, if I zoom back out and compare it to the other one, you can see the difference between the two. So I'm getting a lot more detail in this one than I was in the normal subdivision version. Now I'm gonna turn off this Sculpt HD, so you can come over and click this or press A again on your keyboard. And when you do this, it's gonna take your mesh out of Geometry HD mode, and you're gonna notice that the quality of the texture here will decrease, and this is because it's being viewed now on that 1.2 million polygons, so it's no longer in Geometry HD. Now once again, just to activate Geometry HD on the area of your model, just hover over that area and press A, and this will put your model back in that Geometry HD mode, and you're gonna see that the texture quality here is going to return to that high fidelity. So just hitting A will toggle that on and off in that certain area. 
So you have not lost your details when you're out of Geometry HD mode. So now that I've applied poly painting my model in Geometry HD and non-Geometry HD, how can I get this map out? So the key step here is you want to make sure that your mesh had those UV coordinates on it. And this is going to allow us to take the polypane information that's on here, the normal polypane information, and the geometry HD polypane information, and transfer it to a texture map that's associated with those UV. So the process to do this doesn't require any additional steps. It's the same process that you would normally do when capturing polypane information to a texture map. So I'm going to go to the tool palette over here. I'm going to scroll down to the UV map first. And I'm first going to increase my UV map size. So right now this is set to create a 2048 map. And I'm just going to change this to 8K. And this is going to make sure I just have enough pixel information on my texture map to capture that HD polypaint detail. And the next thing I need to do is just go to the texture map tab here. I'm going to open up the create area. And I'm just going to click this new from polypaint. So this is the same process you would normally do if you just had regular polypainting on your model and not HD polypainting. When you click New from Polypaint, it's going to capture the regular polypainting and also any polypainting that has been done with Geometry HD. So just coming over and clicking this will just automatically capture those details and it's going to now generate a new texture map for my mesh here. And since I set the UV map to be 8K, it has now created a 8K texture map in this slot. So you can see it is 8192 by 8192. Now if I zoom in on my mesh here, you're going to see that this fungus right here is very clear. So we're viewing the model here with the texture map applied. So that 8K map is now being viewed on our mesh. If I toggle this off, this is going to go back down to our original polypaint version without HD activated. So you can see the decrease in quality. But you'll see that with the texture map on, it has captured that HD polypaint information. So the process again to capture your HD polypaint is just HD polypaint on your model, then go to the tool palette, scroll down, set a UV map, add a large enough size to capture your detail, and then go to the texture map tab and just simply do new from polypaint. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.